Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Plays The Last of Us. My name is Stephen George, I play video games, and today it's more Last of Us. When we last left off, we came to this uh, complex. We're looking for our buddy, but we haven't found him quite yet. But Joel was pretty sure that he was uh, in this area, that he lived here or something at some point. We're also uh, following some smoke signals. Also, important to note, I record these episodes in batches, which means I record a few episodes at a time. And uh, because of the way I do that, I have to, you know, save the game and then reload. And sometimes I have to do small bits over again, which is why sometimes my ammo or something might not match up to the way it was in the last video. Case in point, I actually have more ammo this time around because I had to redo this point. I read your comments from episode 10, and there was a very useful comment that said, If you get a brick, you can bash a clicker in the face. It will make a ton of noise, but you can kill them that way. So, I did that. I actually killed the clicker that was in here using a brick. And there's some footage of that. So that's how I did it. I smashed his face in, and he's dead. Uh, and then I killed the other one using uh, the melee weapon, which I promptly put back. Um, I improved it again so I can hit someone else with a one-hit kill. Uh, there was a useful um, comment also that says that it's possible to get through this door with a shiv. And I probably would have discovered that anyway, because apparently we have to come over here, but let's go in. Shiv it. Here goes our only shiv. Enemies? Enemies? It's al it's almost, I would say, probably always worth uh, going in here, um, you know, a anywhere where you can use the shiv, because there are really, really good things inside these things historically, so far what we've seen. In fact, we actually have too much ammo. Can we only have seven bullets? Well, that kind of sucks. Jesus. I mean, once we get to a workbench, I'm sure that we can make it better. But for now, we're kind of stuck with holding seven bullets. All right, let's go. You ready to uh, get a move on? Oh, shit. It's jammed from the other side. Here, boost me up. I can do it. No, that's not such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we going to open it? She's right. Let's do it. All right. Give me your foot. <clears throat> now, just open it. Nothing else. Sure thing. Careful. Okay. She's got it. Let's see. <clears throat> Okay. Brilliant. Good job. Thank you. And there's another weapon if we want it, but we don't need it at the moment. Uh, now we're in a huge area. Uh, once again, soaking up the environment because, uh, man, they really got the feel down perfect. So let's see we get a car from this buddy of yours. Then what? Well, then we go find Tommy. Marlene said he's your brother? And more importantly, he was a firefly. He know where to take you. Oh, okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need the car. Hey, look! <laughs> gnomes! Yeah, those are gnomes. Man, I had an art book filled with these. I always thought they were super cute. <laughs> Not fairies, though. They creep me out. All right, man. Other comments said that when Ellie is, uh you know, walking, she's standing, and she doesn't seem to have a whole lot of fear, that we also shouldn't have fear. So I'm gonna walk, and trust that everything's cool, and really soak up all these supplies, because there's a pistol of supplies here, and it would be a shame to miss out on this, because I uh, would really like the opportunity to uh, increase some of the things with my guns, and I'm gonna need parts to do that. Hello! Ten more pills! Yeah, I'll take that. Can I get on top of this? Guess not. Can we go in this building? No, it looks like it's long been grown over. I'm not expecting this area to be completely enemy free, um, which freaks me out. But I'm just going to stay on my toes as I look around a little bit longer. Because ten pills, man. Ten pills! Um, there was a few people that were upset at my choice to get maximum health. Um, but to be fair, it's one of those things that you'll never make everyone happy. There's going to be people, you know, vying for health. There's going to be people vying for 
Um, you know, listening, there's going to be people vying for Shivmaster. This is a big area. Actually freaking me out a little bit. This door's open, and I'm curious to go in here. I'm uh, just going to be very careful. I'll get a brick. Enemies. She's still standing. Oh, look at that. Please don't try to play that. Would you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Knives who what was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. Uh, I'm never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. I wish you couldn't, because it would probably alert every zombie between here and Dixie. And we'd be screwed. What we got here? Um, I'm also going to try to make more supplies. There was a few things that I passed up in some of the previous episodes just because I, um, I just didn't think to make supplies. So I'm going to try and change that about how I play. Um, I can listen. Will tell me if there's anything nearby. I gotta remember to use that a little more. Right now it looks like we're in the clear. I don't think there's anything upstairs too, although I don't I don't know how we would get upstairs anyway. We can go out the back here. Which uh I before we do that, I'm gonna uh head out to the front and see if I see anything else around this uh area. I don't think we can get into that diner, but I'm going to walk to the end of the street and see if there's anything around. Hopefully not more enemies. I still not, I don't hear anything. I think we are good. This area might actually be monster-free, which would be really nice. Plus, the music is so serene. Why would they do that to us? They wouldn't. They wouldn't do that to us. Jesus, that's a barricade. Let's be very careful, though. Don't see anything. Yeah, it's Bill's handiwork. Anybody else live in this town? Or as I know, it's just him. Weird, man. Why would you live in a town all by yourself? Lincoln High School. And Lincoln was the uh, the area that we entered in last episode. Uh, looks like we can go down here. Um, there's a lot of different ways to go. That's the only thing that sucks, is that there's so many different paths here. I'm not really sure where to go. And I want to make sure that I, I get everything and see everything. Careful. Whoa. This place. Let me guess. You want a drum. Are you filing your nails? Oh, you're <laughs> playing with your knife. Can we go back here? Uh, it doesn't look like it, but there are some supplies here, so... <laughs> they really gave her a lot of character. I'll give them that. Uh, we've got plenty of blades. We've got some rags. Um, we can't make any more med kits, so perhaps we should make another Molotov. I'm all for that. We haven't even used Molotovs yet, but... And I don't want to use it now, so please put that away. More ammo. Uh, nothing else behind the counter. Let's take a look back here. I just... I'm a little surprised how quiet it is. It's freaking me out a little bit. Oh, we got a perimeter note. Here we go. Something to read. Goddamn infected showing up much too close to the church safe house. Looks like I'm going to need to do another round of clearing out the weak spots of the perimeter. So someone was here, um, and they were holed up in the church. And I don't know if we could still get into the church. There might be supplies in the church if we could. This looks like it's just a bathroom. Parts, baby! Yeah! And we can't jump out the window, so we're good. Okay, um, we've cleared this place out. Uh, I'm glad I walked all the way down here, though. That was, uh, that was a good idea. Man, this is kind of sad. What is? What, the records? 
yes, it's... It's a real shame. Now, now come on. I can't leave you behind. Alright. Oh. Whoa! Jesus! Whoa, Nelly! What, what the hell was that? That would be one of Bill's traps. Excellent. Your friend a bit paranoid, maybe? No, that's putting it lightly. Perfect. What's the deal with this guy? Well, he helped us smuggle stuff into the cities. He knows how to find things. Just watch your step, you'll be fine. That's actually really good, because that means that that's definitely the way we're supposed to go, and I can freely explore back here, which I uh, wanted to quickly check out before we move on. Um, what do we got here? A door we can't enter. Um, gotta be careful. Don't, don't hear any enemies. Don't see any enemies, but there's a piss load of parts. All of them, Joel. All of them. Okay, cool. So I think we got everything in the area. Um, there's nothing back here. There's probably nothing up on the fire escape or anything like that. Um, we're just going to go back to where we just were. Uh, it looked like there were two ways into that area. I was trying to pay attention as closely as I could. Um, there was the bench street, the bench area next to the record store there, and there was a place right past the record store. They probably connect, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm going to go past the record store one last time to check and see if we can get back there. But we know for sure that that's the area that we probably ultimately need to go. Let's see if we can get back here. It's another trap. Ooh, boy. See that wire? Stay underneath it, okay? Just keep your head low and you'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Careful. Now, there was an enemy back here. There was a clicker. So, uh, we do have to be a little bit careful. We need a shiv. Shoot. Can we make one? Um, yeah, we can make one. Let's make one so we can get in this door. There you go. Oh, man, you gotta teach me how to do that. Yeah, there's supplies in here. I really hope that there's never enemies in this in this area, because that, that would suck. That would make me really hate everything. But tons, tons of tons of tons of tons of ammo, which uh, makes me happy. Can I open these drawers? Probably not. Okay, cool. Feeling good, feeling good. How many pills was that? That was a lot of pills. I'm back up to 40 pills. I mean, just so you guys remember, I, I had, uh, pretty sure I had zero at the end of last episode after I used 50. So I'm already back up to 40, so that was good. Uh, it pays to look around. We just gotta make sure we don't hit any traps while we are walking around. Hello! Stuff in the garbage. You are really never concerned about anything, aren't you? Uh, nothing over here. Alright, we're good. There was a body over here that was, uh... Is it shot? With... with arrows? Jeez. Feel good with a bow? I reckon he is. Do I have a bow now? Is that a thing? Did I just get a bow? How do I get out my bow? I don't think I have a bow yet. No, I just have the arrows. But at some point it looks like I'm gonna get a bow and that's pretty exciting. Um, alright. There's a ladder here. And there's no more enemies. I think I'm safe. I think I'm good. I can't, probably can't get in the back of this truck either. I don't think there's any other place for us to put this. Part of me wonders if they're going to do something with ladders at some point in the game. Like, it's going to be very obvious that I'm supposed to put it on this truck, but if I carry the ladder somewhere else, I'll be able to, like, climb in and get a secret treasure trove of something. And they probably will. But I'm... I got a lot of supplies, so I'm, I feel pretty good right now. Let's go up and not worry about it. And what do we got here? There is what I wanted. Yeah. Draw string bow. Let me use that. I'm a pretty good shot with that thing. How about we just leave this kind of stuff to me? Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, they gotta give me a chance to actually try this thing out. Now, is this taking over? Yeah, my long-range weapon? Okay. Um, now I can move this. 
or can go further up. Um, but I can also... I'm good. I can climb down here to see if there's anything around this corner. Uh, it doesn't actually look like there is. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, I can't hit these. In, uh, in the very beginning parts of Uncharted 2, there's a power switch like that that you have to hit in order to progress. So, I guess I'm just looking for things like that. <laughs> like, ah, it's the same developer. Okay. Up we go. It's all clear. Come on up. All right. Kind of doubt that there'd be zombies on the roof. S sorry. Infected. Not calling them zombies. Oh, you know what? We're going to need that board to cross, aren't we? Yep. I'm assuming there's nothing over here? Probably not. Alright, girl. I'm going to have to uh, get that board to you. Good. I'm going to hand it to you, so you best be ready. How am I going to get that board up here? Here. You can use this. Okay, I'm going to have to lay it here and then probably pull it up myself. Don't worry, Ellie. You just you just chill. I'll take care of all the the puzzle work. Got it. Alrighty. Let's just drop this right here and make ourselves a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful job, Joel. It's the perfect bridge to get across. There we go. Follow me. I'm. Oh, shit. I was gonna say I'm gonna be using this bow soon. Um, we could probably sneak by it. Uh, possibly. But I'd really like to try out the bow. Let's give this baby a whirl. Uh, the longer you hold, the more tension builds, and then you press to fire. <laughs> it's dead, right? Oh, shit, Joel. It's dead. And I can retrieve my arrows. Well, listen, Bill ain't exactly the most stable of individuals. So when we get there, you let me do the talking. You understand? I understand. You gotta be clear on this. You, you don't take too kindly to strangers. All right. Bill's a good guy. He just definitely needs some time warming up to you. So. <laughs> Man, the bow is like the best weapon ever because I can retrieve the arrows. Unless the arrows break at some point, which they may. What's that sound? That's you, right? That's probably you. That's probably you and probably nothing else. I don't sense any other enemies. Everything is jolly and good, and I should not be worried about anything, ever. It's fine. Everything's cool. Just gonna get my handgun out. There's a trap there. I can hear while I'm on this. That's kind of nice. <coughs> Another trap. We can't go this way. Let's not get ourselves blown up. Don't see anybody. Don't. Oh, shit, look at that. You hear that? Yeah. What? I don't hear it. You guys are hearing something I'm not. Probably can't go in the door. Nope. Uh, might be something in the truck. Uh, there's nothing in the truck. Getting me excited for no reason. Perfect. Uh, and it looks like we're going to be ultimately going in that fence. There's a door back here, though. Oh. Oh, God. Oh God! Shit! You're gonna go in there? I want to see what we can find. You're gonna find my body when I die from a heart attack. Don't worry, I got this. I may not have this, for the record. <laughs> whoosh! Whoosh! God! Oh God! Get prepared. 
I have no idea what we're about to find. I don't hear anything. There was something in here. Something. There had to <laughs> there was there was knocking on the walls, man. There had to have been something in here. How are we not finding it? Oh gone it. God, I keep hearing noises. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Oh! Oh, piss! No, 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 no! Jeez! Woo! Thing scared the shit out of me. Well, while we're here, let's search the place. Yeah, there's probably there was probably only one, so we're probably good. Probably. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of Last of Us. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to uh, tune in for the next exciting episode. I'll be here with a bow being scared. <laughs>